What is up guys, Rick is here with a new video and today Relentless Rumble went live and I was honestly hyped for this game mode, still am, I think it's pretty cool, pretty cool event. Um, the way it works is we have three different brawls right now, the other two are going to be available later. Today we have this one, uh, this enemy is one of the enemies we know from the last season, the quicksand shooter, a pretty easy opponent to be honest, moves randomly across the board, shoots you, marksman physical damage, not too much fancy stuff. There is a common game mode you have to beat um, to get into the endless game mode. The common one is pretty easy, to be honest. Uh, just go in there with uh, Talene, who's, by the way, the best hero to do this. Um, you won't have a very tough time. Otherwise, choose a hero with a lot of AoE. Um, maybe something like Arden can work for you. Arden, Iron in general. Um, take pretty good care of this game mode as well. Um, for the top scores, you will require Talene if you want to go for the leaderboard. Uh, for this, you just have to defeat a few enemies and you can see it's uh, 67 seconds left. Well, with this team, it was pretty easy. There are some cool things going on here. Uh, 15 kills in total. You have all the heroes at Legendary that you own at least at Elite. So all heroes at Elite get enhanced to Legendary. It's level 240, so it's not like you need a huge level to go into this. And once you clear this common game mode, you go into the endless stages. And the endless stages, it's just all about clearing as many of those enemies as you can. They will respawn and they have a buff, which is called Tenacity which means every third enemy that appears is immune to physical damage, so we need to deal magic damage. And the best team to do that is this team. Uh, you can place the Rhaenyra wherever you want, really. It doesn't really matter. It's just placed like this. Other hero in there is Alsa. Then we have Smokey and we have Cassidy. Cassidy is honestly pretty good for this just because we get some extra damage. We have some extra magic damage and we can push the enemies a little more towards that direction. Um, the optimal way to do it is to go into a little bit of manual casting which you can do i first always deactivate the rainier ult and then you kind of have to see how you time your ult with Talene because you want to have some enemies that are a little bit weaker than the others and once you have that place them on the same tile basically as smoky and then hope and then hope that they get defeated in a way that allows you to uh keep that Talene ult up the entire time. As soon as you basically have the situation that we have right now, where your Talene ult was disrupted, if you go for the high score, you can basically recast. You can basically restart. There is the retry button right here, because you won't really have a chance at the super high scores. Keep the Rhaenyra ult deactivated. The only thing this will do for you is remove one enemy from the stage. That will then be in another dimension, and also Rhaenyra will stop attacking during that time, which means we get less damage. So, uh, not really good to have the Rhaenyra ult up. It is mostly bad for us because um, the probability of your Talene ult being uh, interrupted is actually higher if you have the Rainier ult active. The reason for that is um, it limits the amount of enemies that can be on the board at the same time. Uh, so as soon as there are no more enemies that uh, Kanin can target with her ult or that are within range of her ult, she will actually stop casting it. Uh, Rainier taking one of them into the other dimension is negative in that regard. We have Alsa for a bit of extra damage. You need one hero to hit those enemies to make one a little bit weaker than the other. Uh, so they spawn all the time and not spawn five at a time, which is like the important thing. If you spawn five at a time, there will be a time in between where you don't have anything to target. Uh, and that will obviously be bad for us. We have a, still a pretty good score here. 110, 111, 12, 13. 13 is pretty good. 13 is pretty good, 17 is the record on my server. Hot shot healer, we got a super high heal here again. You can see the damage numbers, 199. Um, Cassidy with the 73 million and we have Alsa there. A Cassidy with a ton of damage. You wouldn't even see it, but it's a ton of damage. And all the enemies are in here as well, which is kind of insane that this didn't, didn't break it. Um, 117 there, maybe we give it another attempt. Maybe let's, let's try get into a good attempt here. And let's see how that works out. I make this a little bit slower. Block that. Block that. We can double speed it till we have the ult. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Uh, now we have to keep an eye open. This is bad that they move down there. Uh, I, th I think we can cast it. Even though, I mean, we only have this guy there. If they move now into the direction, it is pretty good. If she stops, we are going to recast. Because we really need the ult to go the entire duration. Okay, for now, this looks pretty 
pretty good. Uh, I think we can leave it now at auto. Let's see what happens. Um, can We can suffer bad RNG, of course, but once we are at that point, probability is pretty good that we get to cast that through. My Tillene is not super highly upgraded. I think it is not even Paragon, though. It's not Paragon. It's actually just Supreme Plus. Um, so, I mean, it is, it is definitely doable without having, like, Paragon 4 heroes, but I reckon at the end just a tiny bit of extra damage is going to suffice to just give probably somebody with a Paragon 4 Tillene or something uh, one kill more than I will have. Um, but it's, it is also partly RNG. Um, for now, this attempt looks fairly good, though. I like it. I like it very much, actually. Um, crit RNG is also a thing. Um, so if you have some crits, this will help. Uh, that don't seem to be any charms active. We didn't see them on the heroes. Um, they are not active. They don't seem to uh, give us anything. And also at the same time, the artifacts are just level 10. So keep that in mind. It's also something. Uh, one point where somebody could have a little bit of an advantage over you. That is not a thing here. 111, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> one kill more on a pretty good attempt. I guess with a bit of more crit RNG, we could get into the area where we... Uh, where we get uh, maybe a one place higher. Right now, the 116 that I got still not beaten, at least not beaten by me. We have a lot of people with over 100. Um, but yeah, that's the optimal team. One thing that I will do for you, I will put you the link to the formation or the code for the formation uh, down in a comment once again. There will be a pinned comment with the code. We did this last time for the Primordial Lord as well. All the teams had codes so that you can copy that easily. We'll do that for the videos now. The codes will stay active for eight days every single time, but I guess that's enough for the video. Um, the way you activate or use those codes is you go into formations and um, then you can add the code by add the formation by ID. And you enter it here and it will give you this formation, Relentless Rumble, which is exactly the formation that I used. And then you can go into your stage once again, into the event. And uh, when you go in there, you can see there is a button, Formations, which will bring you right to the screen. And you just click Use and it will uh, bring you this once again so that you can get, uh, that you can use all of this so uh, maybe to talk a little bit about the heroes for a second and the reason why i uh, did different decisions the level resonance level doesn't is not important we are limited on that um the thing that we mostly have to talk about is rainier's old for a second rainier's old teleports to another dimension with the target for 10 seconds that is really what we want to avoid by making it manual cast um, manual casting also something that we will take a look at in a second and the other thing is really the positioning of our Tallinn. Tallinn has a pretty good range of three tiles, which is really not bad. Um, but and but still, the manual casting will help. She will otherwise often go a little bit too far to the front. A designated tile in the center of the battlefield, which means every single tile in the line on the middle of the battlefield. We just saw that. Um, manual casting... And deactivating ults works through your settings. You can go in here and uh, in battle... You can see uh, some things, HP bar display, ultimate animation, trophy effects, and uh, tap to cast ultimate, tap to activate the mechanism, and auto battle. Auto battle, only select heroes. This is what you want. Auto battle, all heroes, um, means you manually, uh, that, that all heroes will activate their ults, or that you uh, have to manual cast them, and is it even? No, it's, it's auto cast uh, all of the ults so strange it's so strangely worded uh, set it to select and then you get those little gear wheels over your heroes and uh, this will allow you to do what we just did and go into brawl and uh, we can do one more attempt maybe towards the end of this video and deactivate uh, any ult that you want by just clicking the little gear wheel let's see let's wait for a second i think it it would have been so good right now oh no. okay now she auto casted i'm not sure she's in a perfect position a ah, little bit far to the front and no, 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 that's not it even though she ah, she continued again I, I just don't think if you if you have like if you lose a second already it's already so much it's so much to just lose one second because uh, during this fight every second counts and we have to get those kills going so yeah, I, I don't think it will be a particularly good attempt. But still, 
Um, yeah, the deactivating is important. And then you can let Smokey and Asa run. I also tried it with Mikola. Mikola didn't work out too well for me. Uh, she mostly stood in the way and it was a little bit difficult um, to place the Telin actually on that middle tile because everywhere in the arena that uh, Mikola puts up, she's just too far at the front. She's just too far at the front because you want to make use of that arena and uh, hit as many of those enemies as you can with Telin's ult all the time. Um, and that, that didn't really work out. That didn't really work out um, with Mikola and uh, the positioning that she forces you to take. So um, that's something to keep in mind. But yeah, really, the, the keys to, to the higher numbers have been for me to manually cast the Talino as well, even though we are on a good pace here. It always looks so good. And then you get like those respawns that are a little bit slow and then you just don't get the last hit and it ends with 112. And you just, it's 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 so annoying because it would have been like five more kills for place one. So yeah, I will try that a little bit more. I hope you enjoy this too. Um, use the code in the description to get the team that I had here. Um, as long as you have the heroes, of course. Um, and other than that, maybe leave a subscription for the channel would make me very happy. And with that, I wish you a great day. We'll see us in the next one.